Good morning, everyone. We are continuing on with our observation and inferring um, lab. Uh, lab number one, observing and inferring. So we just viewed station A, and now we're moving on to station B. We're taking a look at ice, just regular ice that you would have in your freezer, and we're look, comparing it to dry ice. So we're thinking about observations. So notice this about our ice. It looks like it's melting. So we've got solid ice, and then we've got, whoa, something that's a liquid as well. So we've got two states of matter here. Notice that it's melting, and you, you, you're familiar with this because you have ice at home, and we put it in our drinks. So we've got our regular ice. So make some observations and write those down on your paper about what you notice about the ice. In this other Petri dish here, we have, or excuse me, this is a watch glass. On this other watch glass, we have dry ice. I don't know if you can see this. Can you see the smoke coming off of mm -hmm. the dry ice? So we've got a solid here, and we've got some smoke. But look, when I tip my watch glass, there is no liquid like there was with the regular ice. Now I'm gonna take this piece of dry ice, and I'm going to place it on the counter. Can you hear the sound that it's making? And I'm gonna hit it with a hammer. And notice, notice what happens. We've got all sorts of little pieces. They're vibrating, if you can hear that. Um, and they're sliding around on the um, lab bench. I'm going to put them back on the watch glass. They're very cold. We should not do this at home uh, without gloves. So notice we've got solid um, dry ice and some smoke that looks like it's coming off. So write down your observations. We're going to come back and make some inferences based on our observations.